Welcome everyone to The Gamer Professor and today we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077 and how it's been delayed. And I don't want to say what's happening now is out of control, but the snowball effect that we're starting to see and some of the intended and both unintended consequences of delaying a game. So let's go ahead, let's uh, start reading here and again you'll see the screenshots above me. According to GameSpot.com, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed by another three weeks. So again, it was going to be released. I think, you know, a big part was the coin to coincide with the Xbox Series X PlayStation 5 release. But now the new release date is set for December 10th. Following numerous previous delays, and we'll get into that in a minute, it had been set for launch on November 19th, but according to a statement from studio execs Adam Badowski and Marcin Iwinski, again, if I butcher it, I apologize, shipping the game on the PS4 Pro um xbox one and xbox one x and pc alongside next gen versions for the xbox series x ps5 stadia has been a challenge especially under work from home conditions now here's where things get interesting <clears throat> they give out a massive massive tweet where they talked about the logic behind why they were going to make this and i'm just going to go ahead and read it. it's kind of lengthy but Hello everyone, today we've decided to move the release of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. So again, they're framing it as it's three weeks, 21 days, not the end of the world. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely there will be many emotions and questions in your head. So first and foremost, I love how they have to address like emotions because this is what's crazy. I didn't have an emotion other than, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Please accept our humblest apology or humble apologies. The bigger challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen next gen and pc at the same time which requires us to prepare and test nine versions right for, and i won't read all that but for all of these things all of these systems while working from home since since cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next gen title somewhere along the way we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly we're aware it might seem realistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game but they really do okay so, so far so good some of you might also be wondering what these words mean in light of us saying we achieved gold master some time ago. And that just means that the, the game is done, right? It's ready to go to a degree. But listen to what he says. Passing certification or going gold means the game is ready, can be completed, and has all content in it. But it doesn't mean we can stop working on it, raising the quality bar, right? Quality assurance, testing, maybe someone has... So on the contrary, this is a time where many improvements are being made, which will then be distributed via a day zero patch. This is the time period we undercalculated. And he goes on, you know, we, we feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game that you fall in love with. Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's stop here. First thing, and I've been I've been monitoring reaction and other things on the internet, you know. Some people were just completely blown away by this. Some people had taken off two days already. And again, anytime I hear some of these arguments. I, I go into this other mode where I go, I don't think I've ever taken time off for a game because I knew, especially even a single player game, I'd be able to get back to it eventually. And more importantly, I never take time unless I have it in my hands. Again, maybe that's just me. If I don't have it in my hands physically and I know it's installed and ready to go, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything like that. But, you know, I've heard a lot of people that were extremely upset. They said they've, you know, taken work off for all these things that they've said, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Now, if we go back to the tweet, he inferences this notion of it's, you know, 21 days doesn't seem like a lot, but I bring up the fact of, well, wait a minute, you know, what if they're doing some, some last minute testing and they find a game breaking glitch or bug? Well, well you know, yeah, oh, they should. I, I, I can just hear the voices already. And these people have been online. You know, well, they should have released it and then just patched it later. Yeah, maybe. But I think there's a level of polish that they want to have and they want to keep going, you know, with all of their products, such as The Witcher and other things. So even then, let's say that they wouldn't have got it done, right? They would have had to make major changes. And here's the thing. We don't know exactly what they found, what changes they've made, what they've done. So we're kind of in the dark here. Now, again, when I heard this and, you know, he refers to like your emotions. When I heard this, I was I was like, oh, that sucks. You know, like, oh, man, I got to wait three more weeks. Eh. 
But here's why, here's why I didn't have any further reaction. There was no long-term mood of depression of, oh my gosh, no cyberpunk, what am I going to do? No, 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 no. Here's why. I have the Xbox Game Pass, and every now and then I'll play one of the games on there, and I saw that Wasteland 3 had gotten decent scores, and I was like, you know what, I really want to try, try Wasteland 3. I, I have Wasteland 2, you know, I really want to try it. And I came to love Wasteland 3. I thought it was a really fun game. I like that tactical combat. But let me tell you something. That game was poorly optimized for the Xbox. Poorly optimized. It, probably in a three-hour play session, it would freeze 20 to 30 times. I was having to save every five minutes because I never knew when that freeze was going to happen. Now, this is how I look at this. This is how I look at this Cyberpunk 2077 delay. I go, I would much rather wait three weeks just in case there was some massive issue, some massive bug, some massive quality thing that they found that they wanted to change and have a less intrusive experience. Because I'm going to tell you, even though I loved, you know, Wasteland 3, the amount of freezes and the problems it created really it made me like it that was an emotion it made me angry it took me out of the you know feeling like I was in this world I was like oh my gosh it froze again I gotta reset it and load so I just don't understand because in my mind I'm going well good good take you know if you need to take another three weeks do it I'd rather have a more polished product one that's ready to go, one that won't have any major issues, maybe, and again, we don't know. So I'm trying to just be, I guess you could say, you know, glass half full sort of person where I go, hey, maybe it was that bad. And maybe they just realized, no, we've got to fix this first. And I'm just on this side going, great, fix it, get it done. That way I don't have to worry about it. Maybe it won't interrupt my gameplay session. Great. Sounds good to me. You do what you got to do. I'll play it when it comes out. But some people, and this is where things have gotten really I want to say sad. It's it's sad that we have to do this. So according to a, and this just came out, you know, you know less than an hour ago. Um, according to TheVerge.com, one of their articles, Cyberpunk 2077 developers ask for basic human decency after receiving death threats over the game delay. <laughs> I have never, ever thought of if a game was delayed that I was going to be so angry I'd threaten someone like I, I like that is just like that's insane and I was like wait a minute this can't be real and then I started to go yeah so <clears throat> what they say the creators of uh from the article the creators of cyberpunk 2077 one of the most anticipated video games of the last few years have are having a rough go of it in the lead up to launch complicated by yet another un announced uh, another delay announced yesterday to help the CD Projekt Red developers finish polishing the game before it launches across nine platforms on December 10th. Again, we don't know what the polishing is. That's the key. Now, senior game designer, and, uh, you know, again, you can just look at that name. I don't want to screw it up. Uh, Zawadzki has taken to Twitter in the aftermath of the delay announcement to plead with fans to exercise some basic human decency by not continuing to send the Polish studio death threats. Now look at these two tweets. This first one, he says, I want to address one thing in regards of the cyberpunk game delay. I understand you're feeling angry, disappointed. Again, I never felt anger. I felt like, yeah, slight disappointment. Oh, that sucks. But we'll get it when it's ready. That's cool. It wasn't that the first thing they came out with when they first showed it, like it'll be done when it's ready. That was like the first thing they said when they first showed the game many, many years ago with that CGI cutscene. You know, you want it. So he says, I understand you're feeling angry, disappointed, and want to voice your opinion about it. However, sending death threats to the developers is absolutely unacceptable and just wrong. We are people just like you. And then later he tweeted, This is one of the mildest messages some of us got. There were far, far worse. Every single one is being reported. We will not let it go through. Do not treat it lightly. Do not ignore it. It is serious. That, that said, I'm, I'm off TT for a couple of days. Take care. And, you know, some of these people, I know where you live, bro. Release the game, <laughs> bro. Uh, release the game or you're finished. Release Cyberpunk or you and your family will be persecuted. I will burn you alive if you don't release the game. All over the delay of a video game. I, I don't understand it. I just don't get it. I understand that people, and he addressed it, you know, maybe you're upset. Maybe you've taken a day off. But 
I don't know. Like, again, there's this balancing act of, you know, if I'm going to take time off for a video game, especially from my work, and they want to change it, well, I have to come to the realization that they changed it for a reason and that most, most importantly, they have a right to change it. They have a right to say it's not ready. And guess what? If they said it's going to be released on December 21st, right, and they pushed it back, and then they they then delayed it again, I wouldn't be mad about it because I'd go, okay, man, something, or, you know, December 10th, I'm sorry. Um, and then they, let's say they pushed it back to December 21st. I wouldn't be mad. I, I just would know because I know the quality of this studio and I know how much, the, you know, how awesome this game looks. I just want to think that they're doing it for a reason. I don't think they're, I think they would like to just release the game and be done with it and be like, there you go. Here's the best game ever. And we don't have to patch anything and everything works hundred percent flawlessly. But I, I feel personally that, you know, CD project red is one of those studios that when they find a flaw or they don't like something, they care enough to do something about it. And that's fine with me. I would much rather have a game that runs flawlessly and well on my system than a game that crashes every five minutes or a game that has a game breaking bug because that would make me much, much more angry. I would be so, so upset if I couldn't even finish the game because of a bug rather than waiting a couple more weeks to get the, the polished and finished product. So I really just don't understand. I think it is sad that people are threatening like, what does his family have to do with it? You think his, his family is, oh, yeah, they're, they're the ones that, that, that kept that video game from being released. Well, I'll get them. And, you know, it's just sad. And it's sad that these people have to deal with it. And, uh, you know, at least from my two cents, and I think it makes, you know, makes some sort of, you know, salient point that, hey, it's okay. If you need to wait to release it to make a better product, I'm okay with that. I've always been okay with that. And beyond being a little disappointed, I don't have any other emotions because logically I can comprehend why you might be doing that. And until they tell us the exact reason why, I'm CD Projekt Red has earned my trust and it's earned my business. And so I'm going to go half glass full on that. I'm going to believe what they say. I'm going to go, you do what you got to do. And that's my two cents today. Thanks everyone for tuning into The Gamer Professor. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Thank you for watching The Gamer Professor. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe. And remember, you can always catch me on all my other social platforms, such as Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All one name, The Gamer Professor. Thank you so much, and I appreciate the view.